Um, all right, folks, I thought I would just record a quick video uh, since you all were so helpful uh, to me in uh, solving my issues. So just by way of background, I was uh, working on making something kind of like this piece from the New York Times. Um, what I'm working on is actually related to school reopenings, although I'm not actually showing the data because the piece isn't out yet. Um, so let me show you kind of what my issue was. I'll just uh, run my, load my packages. I just made a data frame. I'll just even open it up. You can see it's got uh, dates, the, the state names, and then I just made random scores. Um, and it's got it for four dates. Uh, I can delete that. Um, so you see what was happening was I was running it. And for some reason, when I um, ran it, it was giving me, the dates weren't working. Um, and it was working, it was happening with geom call, but not, um, for example, with geom point. Um, so like if I comment that out, um, then the dates actually showed up correctly. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Um, what actually, the first thing that happened was um, several people suggested switching to geom tile, which I did. Um, so you can see I actually changed, the only thing I've changed here was just switching to geom tile. So uh, this may be an issue. So several people pointed out a GitHub issue. There may be a problem there. For now though, I'm just gonna go with geom tile. The issue I realized though, is that there are gaps um, because the dates that I have, for example, between November 16th and November 30th uh, is a different length of time than between the other two. Um, so what I ended up doing was I realized, okay, I actually need to um, instead have one observation for each day. Um, because I, again, I just had it for like four points um, as a reminder, you know, it looked like this. So what I decided to do um, was, um, let's see, let me run this. Oh wait, I forgot. Hold on, I need to copy something in from my other thing. Um, so first thing I did was I made a vector that is every single date from uh, November 1st through December 7th to give me a bit of time after that last observation of the 30th. Um, so this is just creating the data frame the same as before. Then I use the add row function. Um, and let me actually do this just so you can actually like, oops, see it as I'm creating it. Um, oh, that's not really gonna work. Um, okay, let me leave that there. So if I add a view there so it pops up, what you can see that I've done, it has the same observations here, but then it actually adds every single day down on the bottom. Then what I did is I used the complete function, which basically creates uh, combinations of all of the um, variables. Cause I said, okay, I need to have basically one observation for each state for each date. So I did complete date state, um, which I run that. You can see DF2 now has, you know, almost 1900 observations. And so you can see down here, um, I've got you know, one observation for each state. Now, if I, if I actually like filter or um, arrange by state, you can see there's Alaska. Now what I realized I need to do is on this, I need to, for example, for this date for November 2nd, November 3rd, November 4th, I should just bring down these values until there's another value. And fortunately, uh, there is a function which is fill. Um, but to do that, I needed to, um, first I needed to group it by state. So let me show you, for example, if I don't do that group by and I just fill it down, uh, I'll arrange it there. You can see, um, I don't even know where that 0.788 comes from. It's probably from another state, but that's not the value that I want. So I needed to group it by state. So if I group it by state and then fill, uh, and let me actually put this down below my arrange. Then I just arrange by state and by date so I could see it easily. You can see now for Alaska, it does it perfectly. Um, it's got 0.34 and then starting on the 15th, it goes down to the 22nd or whatever. It's perfect. All right. And then I realized there were a few uh, NAs uh, in my state. Um, I don't even remember why, but 
I just did that and then I ungrouped that. I'm going to get to those vertical lines here in a second. Um, but if I were to open up this, it's got every single date, every single state, and a score for each date. Um, so now, actually, let me, I'll run that and then I'll come back to it. So um, I loaded HRBR themes because I like that theme. Um, let me go ahead and run this and then I'll show you kind of what I did. So I've got it now and it works. Um, and I did a few things. Um, first of all, um, you see I actually have GM raster here. First thing I did was I used GM tile. Let me show you what that looked like. The problem was, um, and even if I just like stop it right there, the problem was here's November 1st, but it's actually like centering the tile on the date. And that's actually not what I want. I want it to be so that the tile, it, it starts on that date and then just keeps going. Um, so I, um, I was trying things like, could I do like an H just here? Tried that and it said unknown parameters. Uh, I Googled around, got to a stack overflow thread um, that said that basically you could use it for geom raster and perfect. Now I have what I want. The, then, um, here, let me actually comment out this geom vline. Um, so now if I do the rest, the rest of it is basically, down here is basically formatting, uh, making it look nice. So I've added all that, I put my dates here. Um, but what I realized is I'd also like to have basically a vertical line that shows this. Um, and this was uh, Tobias Stadler's suggestion, so thank you, Tobias. Um, he um, suggested that I basically make a new data frame that shows where each of the observations is and then use geom vline for that. So I made this vertical lines data frame, which really just has four observations. And then I'm using the geom v line here, and I'm setting date as my x intercept. So here, let me run this. Now you can see it's put a gray line at each observation, so we can see that. So that's how I ended up doing what I wanted to do. I still have to do some stuff um, formatting wise in terms of the legend. Uh, I want to add some annotations. Um, but again, thanks all for your help. It was really, really helpful uh, to get me unstuck and on my way.